to another episode of Carp Master. I've had a lot of requests from anglers asking me to tie a dead simple KD rig. Now I've got two varieties for you. I've got one with a curved shank hook and I've got one with a crank. The one I've got a pop-up on and the other one I've got a wafter on. But you can also use tiger nuts, you can also use maize etc. Let's quickly put it together. Before I get going with the construction of the rig where I'm going to be using the dark matter super heavy tungsten coated braid and the curve shank hook, I need to point out that this particular rig, the intention of this is for the use of a critically balanced bait or a pop-up with a counterbalance. Now what happens with this rig when the fish sucks it in? Exactly that. The hook point points down and they call that the hook point gets heavy and that targets the bottom lip. This is not a rig where you're going to be using a bottom bait because what happens with a bottom bait? Inevitably, that bottom bait is going to end up lying like that, covering the hook and it's not going to give you a good presentation. You want something that's going to be sitting very ever so slightly off the deck and give you that perfect bait presentation. Let's quickly construct it. I start off by taking about 30 centimeters of the tungsten coated dark matter. Really, really good braid. It sinks like a rock. And then I'm going to be using the curve shank size 4. And I'm just going to quickly take my stripper tool. And I'm going to take 14 centimeters, measure it up to 14 centimeters. Uh, there we go and just slide that into the stripper tool and I strip off the coating then what I normally do is I just run my th my nails through the braid because it's obviously been under that coating so I just need to take a bit of that waxy layer off and then I'm going to do a simple double overhand knot. So I'm going to, in a moment, turn it around for you. There we go. So I'm going to go once, fold it back. And when you see a knot like that, and you're not completely happy to use your fingers, you just take your splicing needle and you just pull it through like that. Now I can take my nail again, pull it on this end and on that end, and then I can take a baiting needle, whatever, open up that hair and just pull on the on the knot like that. And there I've done my knot for the hair. Then I just take my braid scissors. I cut that off and there I have it. The next stage of this presentation is to just take a balanced wafter and for this one I'm selecting the 5050 Fritella which is a 15 millimeter bait and I'm just going to push the baiting needle through it then just hook it onto my hair and Put the bait stopper on. Oops, where is my little hole now? There we go. And there we have it. Now I'm going to take a size 4 curve shank from the packet. There goes another hook. And I'm going to slide the line through the back end of the hook. And here is where a lot of anglers get the presentation wrong this is not a presentation for a load of bait you literally want either a single bait or you want uh, two smaller double baits like two tiger nuts that you join together with a piece of cork and then i like to present this bait with what we call a short kd i don't particularly like a really long hair so i'm going to literally just let this bait sit like that and then when i tie the knot i'm going to go around once 
twice, three. And then at three, I'm going to grip that and let the hook lie on its back. And then I'm going to just continue whipping around and looking out for my stripped part. So I'm going to stop it right there. So it really doesn't matter how many turns you then make. Then I'm going to push the line through the back of the hook again. And I'm going to just set this knot. And then once I've done the setting, I'm going to just pull this braid so that it exits exactly on the back of the shank, but in that position. The next step is to take the eye of the hook and put it on the zero of the ruler. And with the other hand, I measure up to 18, 18 and a half centimeters. Then I fold the line double. And here is another end loop. It's called a figure of eight. So basically I'm going to go under and over and through the opening like that that gives me a figure of eight so i'm going to pull it tight now and there you have it now we basically finish off the rig by just cutting the tag end off and then i take a small piece of dark matter putty and I say small piece because really you don't need a massive piece of putty and right there where the braid has been stripped I'm going to just mold a small piece of putty around the braid or the coated part and there we have it now I want to show you a neat trick you know soldering wire now, if this wafter is too buoyant, all you basically do is right here at the, at the base of the boilie, where the hair comes out, I'm just going to push that piece of soldering wire in, clip it off, and just take my nail and just push it in. So basically what this does is, it's just going to make this wafter sit a little bit less buoyant. Absolutely perfect. Now for the tank test. Right, and there goes my favorite outrageous orange. I've made a quick PVA bag. I've got three boilies crushed up in there. And it's as simple as just covering the bait like that. Just giving it a little bit of additional flavor. And then just a bit on the bag itself and then I top it off with a bit of pineapple power smoke and that I just add on that side the combination of the two flavors are incredible let's do the tank test are you ready for some magic have a look Right, now the next KD rig that we're going to do is the one that we used at Inanda Dam with the Hirgan on Salvier Season 17. And basically presentation-wise, we're going to be using double tiger nuts with a piece of cork. Let's quickly see how it works. I've selected two tiger nuts ready prepared. So basically all I'm going to now do is just Cut a little flat spot on the one, like that. And then take the other one and also select a little flat spot. Because what I really want to do is I want the tiger nuts to sit really, really tight against one another. Giving me a presentation, something like that. So basically now, I'm going to just take my 6mm bait roll. And... Very carefully, but I, I'm going to hold my forefinger right behind the tiger nut so that I can feel 
as soon as I'm about to go right through the tiger, which I don't want to do, but you can see through there, I'm nearly all the way through. On the second tiger net, I'm just going to pretty much go through the first third of the bait, like that. Now for my piece of cork, and I'm going to take a six millimeter cork, and I'm literally just going to push it through, and then I'm just going to kind of measure exactly how long I want this piece. So I'll cut a piece off, which is normally a little bit longer than what I need. And if I press it in, you'll see that there's a little gap. So now I know that I can just take my scissors and just, just trim off an ever so slightly small piece so that my two tiger nuts can sit bundled up like that. The next stage in my hook bait preparation is to just push the baiting needle all the way through. So it goes through the cork. So I've got both tiger nuts now joined together. Now what I normally do is I take my empty cutter and I just shape this bait. I want to get a couple of pieces of the skin taken off to expose it so that it can release a little bit of its natural sugars. There we go. And I'll just continue doing that until I've gone pretty much all around both tiger nuts. Just like that. Now I'm ready to build my KD rig. Again, I'm going to take about 30 centimeters of my coated braid and cut it off. And then I'm going to take 14 centimeters. Let me just get to the 14, work my way back to the zero. And then, oops, come on. There we go. Trap it in inside the two little blades and then pull and there's the coating right again I'm just going to pull my fingers through the braid like that and then proceed to make a double overhand knot especially on the KD rig the double overhand knot helps me a lot because it actually helps to grip my bait really nicely on the hair. There's the first and the second. And as I've showed before, if you have a battle to finish off the rig or the knot, just take your splicing needle that's nice and thin and you can really, really get a nice knot tied that way. Now it's just a matter of tightening that knot. So I'm just going to pull. Just pull with my teeth. And there I've got the knot finished. And I'm just going to quickly cut off the tag end. And there is my hair. The next step is to just add the bait to the hair. Because I need the bait on. To determine exactly what the length of my hair would be and then just my bait stop like that pull it in and now I'll take a crank from the packet and tying the rig is really really simple I'm going to turn the bait the, the hook on its back and then Push the braid through and when it comes to deciding on the length, like I said, I like a short KD. It just gives me such awesome bait presentations and it gives you an incredible hook hold. So basically, if I were to just, I'm basically, if you look at where the barb is and where the bait ends, it's just past the bob, just, just a guideline. So now I'm going to 
go over once, two, and three times. And as with the previous one, I turn the bait on its back and I go around one, two, three, four, five. Five times should do it. And then I take the end and I push it through the back of the hook again, like that. Now it's just a matter of guiding that all the way through and pulling it tight. There's the first part of it sorted. Finishing off the rig again, I put the eye of the hook on the zero of my ruler. And let's say for this purpose, I want to do about a seven inch. So I'm folding the line. And you'll see that I've got very little wastage. So I fold the line and then do a figure of eight knots. So basically I go under, I go over, and when I go over, I twist this part and I push it through the end like that. Now it's just, let me just get my, my tool here so I can show you properly. There is the knot. Wet it with a bit of saliva and just pull on this tag end like that. And there is my figure of eight knot. Now I can just cut off the tag end. And I don't need to cut the tag end off right by the knot. I can leave a small little piece. And straightening this material is really easy. I just run it through my fingers like that. Now for my piece of putty. There's a small piece of putty. And again, I'm just going to place the putty on the braid there. Fold it. And just run it through my fingers. Like that. Just, I'm a pain in most anglers' lives because I'm really, really painful when it comes to being neat. And that's pretty much it. The rig is going to sit like that. Your bait is going to present like that. And again, the minute the fish picks up the, the bait and he sucks it in, the point of the hook is heavy. So it's going to attack the bottom lip. And believe me, it goes right through that bottom lip every time and it doesn't tear. KD rigs are great with PVA bags. You can cast them, they dissolve beautifully, they present beautifully. Give it a try. Let's do this one in the water. And there you go. Just have a look at what that manganana does when the bag explodes. Really quick. It gives you a perfect presentation. The tiger nuts sit exactly as they should. And within a minute, you are ready to fish. Almost there. There we go. That piece of PVA debris will dissolve within a couple of minutes. And you're ready to fish. And there you have it. Presentation one. And presentation two. The choice is yours.